Yeah. Well, good morning. How you guys doing? It is Friday. I'm your boy Market B with Eclipse Lawn Care. Okay, today we're gonna win a ride, do a ride along with another lawn care company. I want to kind of just kind of document how another lawn care, and this is a solo lawn care company. Maybe in a future video I'll do with a bigger lawn care company, but I wanted to go out today and mow with another solo company, kind of get his, his, uh, I want to see how he runs his solo company. He's a part-timer, not a full-time. He does have a full-time job, but he does this on, on, I guess I was gonna say on the weekends, but on his off hours. So I think this would be a pretty cool experience, just not for me, but for you guys, especially if you're wanting to start a part-time lawn care business as a solo operator. Well, maybe we'll, I could maybe try to shed some light on how, how, to, how it runs. I guess this would be more of a day in the life of a solo lawn care. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this video turns out, but guys stick around. And uh, you guys have seen this guy, Victor of the Mo Ranger. So we're waiting for him. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a couple of my equipment uh, with me. So we're not using the Skag, but I'm gonna take my 21 inch. I'm gonna take a handheld blower. I'm gonna take my Echo SRM225 and um, and we'll see, uh, hopefully it'll fit. I know he has a 30 inch X mark that he uses. He also has a uh, right standard 32 inch cut. We're gonna use that. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll just weed eat and I'll let him do his thing on the mower. We'll kind of talk to him, we'll have some breakfast. I'm gonna take him to a burrito spot that I usually get my burritos, but I don't know, It's he's running a little late. What time is it? He is running a little late. I think it's, yeah, it's already 9.30 in the morning. 9.30 in the morning, usually I'm, I'm out and about in Adam, about 7.30ish. But it's okay, he has to drive. He's actually gonna come and pick me up. He's gonna scoop me up, so it's all good. Um, it is Friday. I don't have uh, I don't have a lot of I, I knocked out a lot of my yards earlier this week, so it's all good. He wanted to come out also to some of my properties and mow, so I'm, I left two one of my biggest properties, two out of three of my biggest properties that I have. I let those uh, we're gonna do those today. We got two small properties of mine that are just backyards. We're gonna do those today, and then I'm gonna go and help him do a couple of his properties. So you guys uh. Please stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't liked, please like this video, like my other videos, and let's uh, stick around and wait for him. All right, so here's the mower ranger. Here's the boss man. This is the guy we're gonna be working with this morning. Little late, boss man. You know what I'm saying, bro? Boss man. I'm gonna have to take a. I'm gonna have to take a point off. For being no, I just playing. I I know you had to take care of some stuff. It's all good. But let's uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up. We got we got the right 32. We're gonna go ahead and put the 21 inch right here in the back. And uh, I'm about ready, man. Mark, was doing jumping jacks before I got here. No, I was kind of I was stretching, man. Getting my stretch on. <laughs> all right, <laughs> it's all good. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, 21 inch and my other equipment in here real quick. Let's jump on so we get to work. Let's do something good today, come on. Okay, so we're trying to see how we could arrange it to where we could put the 21 inch mower on there. But I think what we're gonna do is uh, scoot the right mower over to the left as close as we can and hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, 21 inch right here. I think, uh oh, that's gonna be really tight, bruh. That's gonna be really tight. Let's see. That's gonna be a tight fit, bro. It'll fit. It'll fit? All right, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, oh, I got oh it. we got it. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, maybe. 
Maybe not. Caramba. All right, we'll just do the big yards, bro. Okay, so we could. There's no way we could com configure up here to where we could take the push mower. But what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cancel the small little bitty yards. We're gonna use the push mower, and we'll just go ahead and knock out the two big yards that I have. And then, uh, like I said, we got the mow ranger in the house. Let's uh, nice hat too, bro. I like your hat. I don't, let me see the back of your hat. The lawn ranger at your service. So I'm taking a look at his little box cage up here. Not too bad. So we, we're gonna go ahead and put the blower up here in his little cage that way. It's nice and secure and locked. So whenever we hit up a restaurant or hit up a place to eat for lunch, me and Big Pimpin will be able to have everything uh, secure, eat right, without worrying about getting our stuff all jacked up and having some idiot go jack up our uh, our equipment and whatnot. You know how it is in detail, man. It's the Mole Ranger and Eclipse, listen, bro. Listen, we only have an uh, an edger for uh, Mark's overgrown yards. We don't need no stinking edger, bro. No, Come right. on, man. We're professional here. We're professionals here, bro. We just need a string trimmer, bro. Sufficient. <laughs> it's efficient, sufficient, efficient. Let's get this done. Are we ready, Big Pimpin'? Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, okay, I see short joke, Big Pimp. Yeah, that's right. Dang, bro, that is super high. We'll adjust it in the next yard so Jesus. Mark can reach it. I'll, I'll put it at, this is a short rack and this is a tall rack. Oh, oh man. Okay. I see how it is, bro. You don't, you don't want me to, you want me to struggle. I see how it is, Big Pimp. All right, man. Well, let's get out of here, dude. Let's go get breakfast. I don't know, man. Breakfast might be already over. Uh, I got here late. Uh, had to run some errands. All right. All right. Got it, bro. Give it a little push right the bone. All right, let's go. All right, property number one. Victor with the Mo Ranger. Mo Ranger at your service, Marks properties we're gonna get it done so we're gonna see how he operates he's gonna go ahead and unlock the uh trimmers here look how high look how high this tr these trimmers are though man <laughs> that's the uh, i gotta adjust oh, for, for the short guy so there you go just because i'm i'm a nice guy to mark you know? so i guess i guess what we'll do i'll let you mow okay and then i'll trim all right and uh we'll go from there and we'll front and back obviously. we're gonna do front back side to side we'll make it look pretty so we're gonna bust out the right standard bro that is that's cool bro so it's the same size as my skag let's see how this rolls let's see how it cuts let's see what we got here up here in this cage so we got some looks like we got some metal gas cans all those pretty those, heavy those are those ones i was telling you about the just right ones yeah the, oh wow okay i bet those are heavy though man <laughs> <clears throat> mark had to throw that in there you see how you are mark I, I, I know man i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> it's the mo ranger let's go ahead and uh take a look of what we're gonna what we're gonna be working with real quick guys while boss man is there trying to get the uh right mower up and running so this is Bermuda grass. As y'all can tell, it's a little high, a little shaggy right here on the side. We may have to knock it down. Um, I think I've been cutting it about a quarter off the top instead of one third, just because it is summer, it's hot. And we definitely don't want to cut it too short. Maybe in the fall, we may cut it a little bit shorter than usual let's put this over here so we don't run over it we'll put it right here so we got the backyard we'll get some footage of big pimping on the right mower and i might get on it too just to kind of test it out of course i'll be edging and trimming borders fence line edging definitely need a trim these shrubs here so we'll probably make a make a schedule to clean this up a lot of vines actually all of these are just vines overtaking the shrubs so that's gonna that's gonna definitely need some work there Go ahead and walk 
walk to the backyard and look at the Mo Ranger in action with the right 32. You guys have seen this backyard many times on my video. The Mo Ranger said he's familiar with this yard just by the looks of uh, on my video. So there it is. That's the standard 30, standard B. 32 inch by the by right. You gotta be careful we don't stand right next to the side chute. We don't want to get impelled by, by by anything or get hit by anything. So we gotta be very careful. We are side discharging at this point. Just because we're not cutting very low. So. do his thing back here we're gonna continue doing some edging out in the front I already uh, trimmed along the fence line along uh, the other side of the property just finished doing this fence line as well and also uh, the perimeter of the house itself go get him boy get him big pimpin you got it, boy. You got it. Woo! Looking good. Looking good. Okay, guys, stay tuned. I'll show you the uh, aftermath. I'll show you some footage of him mowing the front yard as well. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on edging the front yard so I could do a little bit more vlogging, a little bit more videoing for you guys. Please like this video, we'll see you in a bit. So we got a little bit of leaves on the floor. Let's see how well this mulches the leaves. Now of course he's side, side shooting if he was able to, uh, if he was to put the flat down or the tube blocker down, it'll, the leaves would probably be a little bit more uh, shredded. I believe he does have on it so but because the shoot is up all it's doing is just kind of shooting all the leaves and debris to the side which is okay this means he has to uh, run over it a couple of more times but so far so good it's looking good I'm impressed with the cut really impressed with the cut definitely has some power a lot of power looking good so I was going to try to get my blower and start blowing, but these are locked. Can't put my weed eater up. It's locked, but it's okay. Well, actually, hold on. He does have his other blow in here. I think he has, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's try this baby out and see if we can find the battery for it. So this is the Milwaukee fuel.
guess we better wait. He needs to still mow this side right here. That's crazy. He remembers from my videos that we're supposed to mow this section here. Bro, I'm telling you, the mow ranger has been paying attention to my videos. That's what's up. Because I didn't have to tell him. I was going to tell him if he, if he missed this side to come and do this side. But he actually remembers to mow it. That is freaking awesome. Dude. He was telling me uh, stuff about my videos that I forgot I talked about. Man, if he lived closer, I'd definitely hire this guy. Man, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, bro. Are you okay? Bro, what happened, man? Oh, I just hit right there. I didn't realize it was that low. Yeah, dude. You got to be careful there, bro. No, you, you already got this side, bro. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no, no. I mean, I, I don't care about this. I'm, I'm more worried that you were going to fall to break something on your mower. I was, no, I was pointing right here. Because I missed that spot. So what were you going to do? You were going to try to ramp it? No, no, no. I wasn't trying to be silly, bro. Oh. Uh, I was just gonna come down here and go like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I didn't realize it was that. No, you you got it, bro. You, okay, that. Okay. Yeah. I won't, I won't mess with it. Watch out. That, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a laugh. Was, oh, was, bro! Well, I, I thought you were that, playing I, around, dude. Oh no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, not when I'm cutting, bro. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll do that kind of stuff, but. No, I don't try to mess around. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Because I was, I seen you go down. I was like, okay, I would. Yeah, see right there where it dips. Yeah, bro, that's a long, that's a long drop, bro. I didn't realize. I just thought it was like this. And then what happened? You just lost control or what? It, well, then it went. Phew. It, I did a wheelie and lost control. Oh, you freaked out. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, well, no, I, I don't get wheelies too often. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'll do that little front piece there okay. by the truck. Sorry about that, man. Oh, uh, no, I, no, man. Does I hope it look good? It looks real good, dude. I was uh, just telling everybody that that's pretty cool that you remembered that that we, that we I'm supposed to dude, mow a strip here. Yeah, no. And I was, and I was going to come back here and get this little bit. Okay. But, but you say it's good. I'm, I'm just going to go mow the front. But I'm good, brother. Okay. <laughs> These guys need to be careful, man. At first... I think he looked like he bruised up his knee a little bit. But I thought whenever I seen him coming down, I was like, hold on, hold on, why are you going down? But I guess he didn't realize how steep that ledge is there, guys. I mean, if you, this, it's a pretty steep slope to begin with. It really, sl really slopey. So, uh, but he's okay. I didn't mean to crack up or anything. At first, I thought he was just trying to be funny. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't know the Mo Ranger how he plays or whatever, or uh, I don't know his uh, what do you call it? Uh, his his. Uh, come on, guys, y'all, y'all help me out. Y'all know what his uh, form of playing around? What's the word? What's the word? I can't think of it. Sense of humor. There it is. So I gotta be real careful. Keep an eye on him. Even though he's the boss man, I'm working with him today. But he's not familiar with my lawns either, so. That's also another, I guess, lesson, guys. Um, you guys that are taking, that are brand new in the lawn care business, when you take on a brand new property, walk the property. Take about five, seven minutes. Look at all your obstacles. Make sure you look at all your obstacles and see where your dips are. See where your, uh, if there's any rebar sticking up, if there's any uh, stumps that are sticking up, be familiar with the yard before you get your mower on there. Even like, even edge and weed eat first. That also helps out too before you get your mower on there and another thing is be familiar with your equipment beef especially mowers big mowers like this 
it could have been really bad um i mean that mower could have he could have gone on went under the mower a limb could have been under the mower and that's it no more mow ranger so thank god he he was able to keep it uh keep it under control keep his composure in control but uh hopefully he's okay are you okay i'm good brother okay good he's okay Not bad. It's, it's, uh, Mark, no. Mark hit it hit said it exactly right yep. but yeah 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 not only like i mentioned guys whenever you get a new new property just because you've mowed 100 lawns prior and you get a new property every property is freaking different every property is different take five seven minutes like i said walk the property if you have to even if it's a big property even if it's a small property you never know what's in the grass especially if the grass is overgrown that's probably when you need to probably uh or you should weed eat first okay and also be familiar with your equipment okay you have to be familiar with your equipment you all right big pimpin i'm good man. all right okay he's good just want to make sure i like to joke around but you know when i'm mowing i try to be serious okay i thought you were just trying to join the circus or something bro yeah, and try to do a wheelie but i'm not the, i'm not a pro like mark when it comes to the wheelies i mean you you kind of look like uh evil knievel with all the american yeah flags and stuff bro but don't be evil knievel you know what i'm saying i'm trying not to you're not evil knievel bro you're the mo ranger you're a mo ranger that's right at your service man he got in the truck quick he's like you know what yeah. <laughs> he loves that air ac hey i ain't i ain't tripping either man i love that ac too bro Oh man. It's all good in the hood. All right, so we got it all knocked down. Looks great. Man, I'm impressed with the right sander. I'm not going to lie. The right sander has a nice little cut, bro. I like the cut on it. I like your cut, G. It Woo. cuts pretty good. It cuts really good, bro. Hey, I'm impressed, dude. I'm sorry you uh, uh, you fell down like that, bro. It's all good, man. You got to be serious. There's times to be serious and times to joke around. It wasn't that I was joking. I just trying to help Mark out, man. And uh, <laughs> he tried to help me out by giving me a nice little laugh. By giving him, he thought I was trying to do a wheelie, be evil Knievel with my little hat. Yeah. But, yeah, bro. You got to be safe, bro. Be safe. But I'm glad you just uh, you just got a bruise on your knee, and that's it. That's it. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Not like the first or last time my butt, big butt will fall down. No, I hear you, bro. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, well, man, uh, props to you for uh, keeping your composure and not freaking out in a situation like that. Let's go ahead and get, go to my uh, second, yard. maybe last yard. Yep. So it's going to be a yard probably similar to the size of this one. Let me think. This one, yeah, be very careful as well. There is slopes, so you got to be very careful unless you want me to. Uh... Oh, no, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you do it on the on the right. Whatever you want to do. I'll let you do it, bro. I ain't scared. You scared? I ain't scared, bro. You scared? Nope. All right. Left, right? Make a left. Let's get to work. So there you go. There's the Mo Ranger. He actually went all the way down, down on this slope, which is crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. I wouldn't even done that. But it's all good. The Mo Ranger's getting it. Gotta trim these tray myrtles on the bottom. Look a little tacky. There you go. Ring around the roses. Pocket full of cash. Get it, homeboy. He got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. There's a Mo Ranger at your service. And we'll talk to him a little bit more. We'll get to know the Mo Ranger after we get done. So stay tuned for that portion. So there's the Mo Ranger at your service. At your service with my patriotic helmet or uh, straw hat. Yes, sir. So we just we just got done mowing. We'll probably have to blow a lot of these leaves, kind of spread them around a little bit. 
we'll just we'll blow that it's windy today man it's windy out i went ahead and string trim this second tier just because i didn't want the mo ranger up here uh i don't want him it's kind of tricky to kind of get into into the uh little channel here where it's really uh narrow um like i said i mean he's not familiar with this property just because you've seen these properties on my videos doesn't mean you know the terrain the terrain can be tricky especially on the other side where it's really slopey and on the back corner uh it's a little tricky and especially i mean if you're push mowing it or if you had a walk behind piece of cake but on a stand on or rider mower it is somewhat tricky so but i went ahead and knocked this out with the uh weed eater or string trimmer got it i mean it looks good it looks nice and uh i think we're good we're gonna finish blowing whatever's left on the sidewalk it looks like the wind pretty much kind of scattered all the debris away but we're still gonna blow we still got a little bit of mess here it looks at it looks like uh debris from whoever was mowing this property here the guy that usually mows this property um i don't think he blows or if he does i mean there's just so much blowback that it just comes back to the street and then it gets gets blown over into this area but i mean it is what it is i ain't gonna be mad about it as long as we blow the grass out of the street we're okay so all right cool i'm gonna help homeboy finish blowing the backyard and blowing this front yard and then uh that's it and then we'll like i said we'll get to know the mole ranger i'm gonna help him on a couple of his properties as well uh, i'll get some footage on that but we're gonna get to know victor from the mole ranger at your service There he is. I don't want to. I don't want him to. I don't want to make him do all the work. All right, let's get back to work. So we got the Mo Ranger on silver here. No wheelies. No wheelies. Be careful, Bubba. So he pretty much walks it. Yeah, I would too because it is so steep here. I probably wouldn't get on it. And there it is. There it is, the Mo Ranger at your service. Mo Ranger at your service and a Don and blades down. That's for you, buddy. Uh oh. I don't ever work. See. See, there I you came, go. I came to help Mark. Uh oh. And you saw me even get on the mower. He 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 just shouted out, blades down. Uh oh. <laughs> and, and and he has a right B as well. He finally got smart and bought himself one. Uh oh. <laughs> That's Shout what's out up. Blades down. At Don. your service man i'll tell you what i like about this we're over here at griff's gonna knock out some hamburgers me and the mole ranger at your service this is what i like about this man you're able to park in a regular spot like this don't have to worry about the trailer or nothing perfect man i, I gotta look into a little system like this what do y'all guys think about a a ramp system like this i wouldn't i think the only difference i would probably do is convert the the bed into a flatbed that way i could maybe definitely get a wider uh mower and maybe a push mower on there easily awesome let's go have some burgers bro all right guys we're here at the mole ranger is one of his properties uh this is one out of two power properties we're going to take care of today so this particular property we're push mowing he has to push mow it he'll be able to get his 32 stander on here in the backyard but he was mentioning that the ground is really too soft so that's why he's uh, push mowing wanted to talk to you guys about uh whenever you guys are pricing your, your lawns here's the thing you got a base price right let's say um i don't know let's just say for this lawn is 35 dollars that's if you're going to be using your rider also that means if i'm able to get my rider through your gate 35 if the customer requests that you push mow 
or if you're not able to get your rider in the back this is something that you have to be up front with your customers when you're going to give them an estimate or give them the price to mow uh per week okay let's just say like for for instance i'm able to get a 32 in the back but the customer doesn't want us to mow with a rider which is going to take a lot of uh not just time but also uh a lot of energy for push mowing is going to take longer right up oh, your price so let's say this was a 35 dollar yard i'll be up front with the customer says okay since you're not since we can't use since we can't be efficient with the commercial equipment we have with the professional equipment we have and we have to push mow it's going to take a little bit longer it's going to take more man hours you don't have to go into detail but i'm just this is between us um i'd have to charge let's say if it was a 35 dollar yard okay i gotta add another 15 to 20 dollars just to push mow and that should kind of cover you um as far as time and also expense especially if you have a helper or an employee on the job hey how, did i miss anything no okay so let's go ahead and take a look real quick like i mentioned we had a, we dropped off his his 32 stand on and we went ahead and got the x mark um dirty 30 which i like to call so this is it backyard was pretty big it took us how long did it take us how long did it take us about 30 minutes yeah about 30 minutes so it was it wasn't too bad of course the uh the terrain here is i mean it's all over the place it's really bumpy so it's it's hard to try to get that that really uh flat top look but we did the best we could i think we cut it at a three and a half or three and a quarter i'm not sure but you know it is what it is definitely would have been better if we would have uh used uh the right on but but because of this uh because the uh customer requested that we push mo we got to push mo and like i mentioned always up your price i don't know what the percentage is from 35 to what 45 50 but it is what it is let me go ahead and get the blower here this is the milwaukee fuel brushless mower uh blower you got it mark yeah you want to you want to feel sure. we'll let big mo uh film here Mark's over here blowing off. He helped me with my yard this afternoon. He took care of his this morning. Had some lunch. You know, it's all about helping each other out, man. Huh? When you can. We're fighting with the wind too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you out? I got another battery. Okay. Victor has to go get another battery. <laughs> okay, we ran out of battery. Um, <laughs> speaking of running out of battery, I think my GoPro is about to go out as well. But this wind is kind of going all over the place. First of all, it was going that way. Now the wind has its mind of its own and now <laughs> wants to come this way. So we're going to be fighting against the wind. That I actually like I like that blower. Yeah. It's not it's not powerful, but it's light. Yeah, it's light for sure. It's light. Battery but, operated. So I we have, got one more after this, right? Yeah, one more okay. and we're done. Oh, we got, you got your uh, the other one. You yeah. We got one more and then I got a couple of backyards that he's gonna help me out with. Is this the good one or the bad one? No, that's a good one, the one I handed you. Okay, so let's go ahead and crank this up and then uh we're gonna get to know the mow ranger here in a little bit after we get done. Alright, so we're about through with his last the mo ranger's last property we just need to do some blow off i think we've oh actually there's oh well 
Yeah, we got to blow off this part here. There you go. That is the view. Of course, trampoline. We don't move trampolines. We don't move swing sets. I don't. And I'm pretty sure the Mo Ranger doesn't move any of that stuff as well. So we got that done. Got that taken care of. Now we're going to go knock out a couple of my properties that are uh, just backyards probably take about five minutes a piece and i gotta go pick up my truck from the shop too all right guys we're on our way to our small little backyard properties we just got to but this is a segment where we're gonna get to know the mo ranger what's up everybody so uh Let first me make sure i don't got no uh, grass on my face <laughs> everybody says i don't work you know? bro man i don't think you do work bro you're nice and clean just like brian lawn maintenance bro uh, oh uh, we're not going there no nah, i just play no nah, shout out to brian's lawn maintenance <laughs> hey uh all right so what's your name bro and how long have you been in the mowing business? So, um, everybody, uh, I, I can't take credit for my, my uh, lawn care name. That uh, name came from my wife. She gave me a several, and the the logo is my. The name is from her, and one of my cartoon buddies came up with the uh, illustration and graphics of my uh, of my thing. You kind of see with my goofy face on there. The uh, Mow Ranger at your service and uh i have my hat somewhere i must have thrown it in the back but anyways it has my little goofiness in there and i shared it with people on instagram and uh oh no i've just always liked grass we moved here in 2018 i took on a full-time job um with a company i'm currently with and uh, have been with for 22 years uh this year is my 22nd year Knock on wood, I've uh, been very fortunate to be with the company that long. Uh, in 1998, I graduated from uh, college at the university there in, in Arizona, the University of Arizona, with a bachelor's degree in uh, uh, business with an emphasis on management information systems. So I'm, I'm kind of like Mark, we get along in the sense of we're, we talk geek sometimes, we talk lawn care, we just talk life all the time. Uh, and He's been a good friend and uh, and role model in the lawn care business because he's uh, he's helped me out quite a bit. I look at the camera, but I'm driving, so. No, it's all good. You keep keep your eyes on the road, buddy. Uh, we already had an accident earlier today, but I <laughs> but I I wasn't trying to be joking. You know, I'm a joking kind of guy. Mark knows that. We like to have fun when we when we talk and shoot the breeze. But uh, I didn't realize there was a big hole as we were going. But anyways, so '98 I uh, got my degree. Uh, 1999 I started working for Raytheon uh, in uh, Tucson Arizona and uh, I've been there since 99 2000 and uh, here we are 21 if I do my math right that's 21 years plus almost 22 years I've been working for them I moved here to work take a job on McKinney Texas uh, and like I told Mark in the past, uh, I've always loved grass. I wanted to do it as a little side hustle. So it's kind of just a side hustle for me, like some other people. Uh, I talked to another gentleman in Plano and he knows who he is. And uh, he teaches and uh, mows grass there in Plano, Texas. Uh, real, really super nice guy, name's Dan. Uh, we could give him a shout out. Dan, I think it's Dan uh, Plano on and turf or something and Dan I'm sorry if I'm butchering your your Instagram but you know who you are talk to him a few times that he teaches and, uh, he came from I think Virginia or somewhere like that and he's like me he does it as a little side hustle but teaching he has a little bit more flexibility than I do uh, I try to do uh, anywhere from about I got about 12 to 15 customers right now um, 
I think the most I could have would be about 30. Uh, just because I want to be like Romero's lawn service, you know, and have my 30 yards just like him. But he does all kinds of stuff. He'll fix your fence for you. He'll uh, fix your faucet if you want. Tear down your house if you like. Rebuild it back up. But that's just Romero. Shout out to Romero. Um, awesome. But uh, yeah, I started cutting grass about a year after we uh, moved here. Uh, just simply our front yard with our Toro recycler. I said, hey, this ain't bad. I, I've always liked grass. Huh? How long you been in Texas again? Since 2018. 2008, okay. So um, about 2019, I think, is when I started cutting our own grass. Uh, not because I didn't want to pay a lawn guy, just, just to see if I liked it. Had a little uh, push broom, started that way. Uh, did about five or six yards. Uh, funny story, I told, I don't know if I told Mark this, but uh, my first, one of my first customers, he had gone through about five lawn guys, and none of them, he liked how they cut their yard or whatever. And I said, oh, sir, I'll, I'll do it for you. And just took my time, and he was my first, second customer. I ever had and he's like if you could go to a little elm um i'd have you as my lawn care guy all the time i was like well I'm, sir unfortunately i live here in princeton i that'd be kind of a hike for me i think he goes yeah it's a little far and so you know we went our separate ways but he was all best of luck to you in your lawn business and then uh i got a 30 inch push mower just to try to make it uh more efficient uh with it's a x mark 30 inch Mark told me it's the beast. He's recorded a little bit today. Uh, it's a pretty older mower, but uh, it's a similar to the one like I think Tino from AJ's Lawn Care has. But his is brand new. Uh, that thing has been up, up, up and down, probably cut a thousand or two thousand yards in its time. It's, it's uh, got a lot of years, a lot of miles on it, but it does a phenomenal job for a 30 inch mower. Cool, man. So you're solo right now. Are you thinking of maybe getting a helper or going even full time? Uh, eventually one day I'd like to, uh, I only got about eight, maybe 10 more years to work, I think. And then uh, once that's done, I will probably go a little bit more full time and get myself a crew. But for now, I'd like today working with Mark, man, because you don't get as tired, man, working with a, another helper and him and I just went, went, went. And we probably could have mowed 10, 12 yards, but we just had a few each, and uh, he knocked out his this morning, and I knocked out mine this afternoon, and we just had a good time. But man, it wasn't as tiring doing it all by yourself. <coughs> so you know, but uh, in all, it was it was uh, it was a good day. That's cool, man. So, will would you uh, are you wanting to since you're just going part time? Are you gonna maybe try to add more? customers to your schedule or are you good where you're at right now uh, like this is it i'm uh, done i could probably do at least a, if i got a like even i know people say man you got a pretty cool system set up there but just a little bit bigger truck where i could take all my equipment then i could probably do uh, uh 15 20 yards a week and i would probably be just perfectly happy um, i'm gonna promote and push pressure washing over the winter break and see how I like that. Uh, seems like if some people do that. No Christmas lights for all you Christmas light people. Uh, one on you, you guys do a phenomenal job. I, I don't know if I could do that. I'm not one to get up and down a ladder, man. <laughs> but and, and I know uh, there's ones out there that do it and, uh, and they do phenomenal jobs. So uh, not me though. Uh, I'm pretty content when the winter comes. Uh, I'm enjoying the lawn care. It does get very humid here in the summer, I ain't gonna lie. And when people say the Texas heat is, is the Texas heat, I, I kind of see what they mean about that, man. Right, right. So, what what size of properties do you typically mow? Do you, are they just regular, like 5,000 square feet homes? Or are they acres? I mean, what do you set up uh, for? So I usually do the HOA, um, you know, try for the bigger lots, so to speak. Um, and I think I'll probably pronounce it wrong, the Kovacek kind of yards, where I can get my 32 inch in the back and all that. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying, I mean, ideally I'd like to do all my yards with, the, with my standard uh, 32 inch stand on, but some people don't like that stand on on their yard. Um, they just like either push motor or, or uh, 
or with like a small even smaller than that so I usually use my 30 inch but most of the time I try to use my 32 uh, I ideally would like to do that eventually I'd like to get a bigger truck that's extended where I can get uh, about three mowers four mowers on there and do even bigger properties but right now I do up to an acre lot or a little bit of more and I have a few out here that are um, out, out in the kind of the sticks like we're at right now but uh, <coughs> excuse me awesome cool man uh when you first started your your lawn care business was it something you said that you it was something you always wanted to do Where, did you watch any videos youtube videos on lawn care before you started and if you did who did you watch who were your favorite or favorite uh channels that you watched that you actually learned learned from so um funny mark asked that because one of the channels i watched was his i said who's this guy he looks just like my uncle i told mark the story <laughs> i said man he looks kind of scary but then when you get to know mark and my uncle they're like really kind hearted people and they'll they'll talk to you and answer any questions you ask of them but my family is so tired of me watching uh, i probably watched the thousands and thousands of lawn care videos and they always know when i'm watching something on lawn care because they'll hear the computer going or the, my ipad at home and all they'll hear is you know oh he's back at watching lawn care videos but you know you learn a lot from a lot of different people um you know you can learn something not that it's easy to learn but you can learn a lot of different things from people just on uh, youtube alone um, i'm not a youtube guy myself but uh it's definitely uh and it got its advantages when you want to learn how to do different things like they uh some guys I always hear them say just watch a youtube channel or just watch it on youtube to how to fix this that or the other and I'm, sometimes they're right sometimes you you know i'm not one to fix everything but you know some things uh, i can fix watching some, something on youtube uh, like they say so that definitely does help cool 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 um but channel wise it's the mark's channel um i didn't really know much of them but i watched a few of uh the geek to freak he seemed like he knew what he was talking about um I'm trying to think of a few others um i did um recently have been watching a lot of the australian guys because they seem like uh just the old accent they have and and uh i know it's a different grass than we have but it's just fun to watch them because they, they just have some I thought we had some thick gnarly stuff but you get to watching them and it's like they turn a jungle in, or a forest into a freshly, nicely manicured lawn it's pretty crazy some of the areas they're at alright so I think we got to know Victor the mole ranger a little bit better <laughs> so hey is there any uh, you can follow him on uh, Instagram right? Yeah, the Do mole ranger uh, on Instagram I don't, I don't I'm not a YouTube I got two too much going on to have a YouTube channel. Mark keeps pestering me, telling me he wants me to get a YouTube channel, but uh, I don't know. It's it's a I, way Mark talks. It's a lot of work, but maybe when I'm fully retired, I'll uh, do YouTube. Be the there grumpy old man or something. We're yeah, right. Those. The grumpy old man of lawn care. <laughs> but that's cool. So the Mo Ranger on Instagram, y'all guys make sure y'all follow him on Instagram, the Mo Ranger. Thank you, Mr. Mo Ranger, for letting me come with you man it was it was fun it was easy it was, it was pretty easy right yeah it was a good good day it was it was definitely a eye opener for him because he's just strictly solo so with with me helping him out he was like wow i can't believe i didn't even break a sweat and you don't really break a sweat when you got when you got help which is uh, something i miss but next year we'll get some good help and like i said guys please subscribe to the eclipse lawn care channel uh share like please comment and let's see if we can uh go get our hands dirty with another lawn care company around here so uh we'll see y'all gotta stay tuned for that mr uh the mo ranger at your service yes sir that's me <laughs> awesome man well i'm glad it's been a good day i'm glad homeboy over here didn't get hurt hey guys we'll see you on the next video peace out